This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up sports to the bone family? Back at it again man Alright so we're just squeezing in this one quickly Alright um, There are two stories to zoom in on we see where we see where West Indies, the cricket see uh, cricket West Indies earlier today published um, some information, letting us know that West Indies will start their their journey to try and secure a third ICC um, T20 title against uh, Scotland. So yes, that is what we are going to. We are going to be going up against Scotland to start off our journey. So I'm going to be reading that article for you guys. I'm going to share with you a couple of things that some of the, the jacket and suit, um, the jacket and tie guys had to say. We also see where former um, Ireland batsman, Mr. Bri O'Brien, is now commentating. You know, he was saying that the West Indies need to, to step aside or step away from the old approach um, because it's not working and look at something different. So we're going to be zooming in on those two. But before we go any further, I'm just going to ask you to go right ahead, hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure that you leave a like and drop a comment. All right, so we're going to start things off with um, this story here about West Indies, you know, kicking off their T20 World Cup against Scotland. So it says, West Indies start T20 World Cup against Scotland in Hobart. Right, they say West Indies will start their bid for a third ICC T20 World Cup title against Scotland. Right, um, they said the two time world champions will see action in Group B of the first round. Can I imagine? First round starting October 17, they will remain um, there for the other two matches against the qualifiers on October 19 and 21. Once West Indies get through the qualification phase, they would then join the top eight teams who have already qualified. All right. They say in the Super 12, host Australia are in Group 1 with England, New Zealand, and Afghanistan. <laughs> That's a strong group there. Um, plus the winner of Group A and the runner-up of Group B from the first round. Now, Group 2 features India. Pakistan, South Africa, Bangladesh. So Pakistan and India again, plus the winner of Group B and the runner-up of Group A from the first round. Now, fans must register prior to January 31 to get the best chance um, of securing their seats before tickets go on sale to the public on February 7. They say ticket pricing remains the same as the, um, as the, the postponed 2020 event with children tickets um, available for every first round and Super 12 match um, from five, what's that, five dollars and adult tickets available at a select match, um, uh, available at select matches in each whole city um, from $20. Now, International Cricket Council C -E -C CEO, he had this to say, uh, T20 is the global growth, uh, T20 is the global growth format of cricket and the ICC T20 World Cup 2022 will play a huge role in inspiring um, our next generation of players and fans as the world's best players descend on Australia and showcase the very best of our sport. Now, the release of fixtures is always a great moment in the delivery of a World Cup as fans start to get excited about opening games right head-to-heads and knockout stages now this schedule offers so much from the 2014 champions uh sri lanka opening the event to our defending champions australia starting with uh with a rematch of the t20 uh men's t20 world cup final against new zealand and of course india taking on pakistan so whole lot of interesting things my viewers and subscribers so the last bit of information they have here, they say West Indies remain the only team to win the ICC T20 World Cup on two occasions. They, their first um, victory was in 2012, right, against Sri Lanka. And, um, the, yeah, Darren Sami, as we know, was captain of the team. Now, the, 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 the captain, former captain Sami also went on to secure victory with his guys in 2016. 
So yes, my viewers and subscribers, the bid to start this World Cup thing is on. Uh, well, our World Cup journey, as they say, will start in Group 1, in Round 1, against Scotland. <laughs> um, I'll I just give you a little bit of information for now. I will be zooming in on the fixtures in a different in a different video, my viewers and subscribers. Just wanted to go ahead and, and, and let you guys know exactly what is happening here. Alright, so we're going to quickly move on where we see um, former Ireland batsman, no commentator. Uh, Mr. Mr. O'Brien is saying that these guys, these West Indies guys need to move on from the old way of playing their cricket. So the headline says, when these batters playing old school cricket, former Ireland batsman insists team must move past brute force. So he's letting them know brute force alone can't work. Now the article starts and it says, former Ireland batsman turned commentator, Niall O'Brien believes the West Indies batsmen have become caught up playing an old-fashioned type of cricket which has little chance of success in the modern game. Now, the Caribbean side was beaten by Ireland, as we know, in a one-day international series. I understand? So, a lot of people have had a lot of different things to talk. And I think we're going to read out the entire article, my viewers and subscribers. I'm just going to be taking his quote, quote so we can hear what he's saying. Now, he's quoted as saying, and I quote, the West Indies, they are playing a very old school type of cricket. They just stand around in the crease and either block or try to hit the ball for four or six. Unfortunately, when you are playing international cricket, that doesn't happen very often. Very rarely do you see a West Indies batter come down the pitch using their feet, knock it um, to long on or long off or singles, rotate the strike or manipulate the field. We saw very few sweeps when Shamar Brooks did play sweep. He was out LBW, <laughs> O'Brien said. And, and, well, he was on the Mason and Gish to a gather. So, you know, he was spilling the beans in terms of the West Indies guys not being able to, to really uh, match up to, to what is expected at the international level. All right, so we, we're going to move on to the rest of um, what Mr. Mr. O'Brien had to say because... I guess eh, it is there for everybody to see how we play our cricket, you know. So, um, a man, a man, well, he's a commentator, so he's definitely going to be pointing out things. Now, he went on to say, and I quote, When you're a batter, if you are going to stand in the crease waiting for a bad ball, this is international cricket. The bad balls don't come very often. It's a technical thing. It's a tactical thing. It's something for West Indies cricket. It's been a pattern for many, many years. They don't play spin very well. They rarely on uh, on their and their well, they rely on their brute force. And um, you know, teams are getting more clearer, more clever with how to go about that. Very well said, Mister Mister O'Brien. Very well said. Now, the funny thing about it is now is that us as Caribbean people, when we see the problem and we point it out, you know. No, no problem. All good. We see the problem. This is what they need to do to fix it. But say, for example, Mr. Mr. O'Brien from Ireland now, who is a commentator, if he points it out, and I can imagine persons are going to say, so why is he pointing on West Indies? Why, doesn't, why, why, is, he, why is he not talking about Ireland? Fact of the matter is that the man was asked to, to speak about West Indies, and that is exactly what he did, and I can see that he's spot on. He is indeed spot on. We have always... Um, looked at the fact that the players need to try and rotate strike, whether it is test cricket, ODI or T20. They need to rotate the strike to make sure that, you know, they are putting back some pressure on the fielding team. But, yeah, that those are those are some of the things that he, you know, he had to say, Mr. O'Brien. And um, as you guys can see, West Indies will have to play against Scotland and a couple more. You know, as I, I'm going to be looking at the fixtures um shortly, but because of the, the, the T20 International Series here, I'm just going to leave it right here for now. So just go and big up on yourself, my wonderful peeps, and we will check in back at a later date. I'm out.